Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rusford Thelonious Diggins, and this is me first mate, Peter P. Squalls. Any of you motherfuckers move, and I'll execute every last one of ye. Peter, get the meat in the kitchen. All right, buzzy nuts. Meat in the bag or two fingers in the stinker? Two fingers in the stinkeroni. Mmm. Tits wet. Mmm, spicy. I think I did good, Rusty. I got a lot of the tubular meats. Tubular meats. Nice work, Peter. Back to the ship, my little turkey. Thank you all for your cooperation, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to leave you with this little present. Chainsaw deep into woods. While I was drunk out in the woods, straddling logs without the pants. The earth was covered in maple syrup, the taint was covered in ants. A couple of gorgeous lumberjacks said how. What in the name of Davy Jones right now do you two peckaroons dancing to? What in the name of Davy Jones or Laugh Not makes it any of your business, Captain Scary? There'll be no dancing on my ship. Is that clear, gentlemen? Are you sure it's your ship, Captain? Well, he's the captain, but it's all of our ship, right, Captain Scary? No, that's not right, Peter. This is my ship and I'm in charge. Well, I got two bone-dry fingers for your arse that says you're not. Watch yourself, you creepy little bastard. And wash up! You smell like Pandora's box! I think you smell like butterflies and codfish, Rusty. Thank you, Peter. Oh, Rusty, we're on the TV! I'm on! I suggest you stop pointing that contraption at me before I bite that gorgeous little nose right off your fucking face. It feels British. No, it's not British, Peter. Feel the girth. Is that you, Cotton Scary? We're playing guess the me. What in the name of Blackbeard's cavities do you think you're doing, you creepy bastard? I'm doing whatever feels best at any given moment, Captain Scary. I'm going to ask you once, are ye funny or ain't ye? Well, I don't know if funny's the word or not, but I'll do anything to anything you put in front of me, as long as there's a little bit of heat in there. Because of you scurvy red meat blaps, we're no longer employed by King Bruto. There'll be no more pillaging until further orders. You remember who's in charge of this ship, Diggins? I don't remember anything past five seconds ago. All units, a clown has been savagely attacked by the Sasquatch. Southwest of Stink Bog towards the Nipper. Bring her around, Petey Petey, sweet and meaty. What the hell is that? Rusty, Peter, bring these three scallywags aboard and pillage them. Oh, I'll pillage them, Captain. Inch by glorious inch. Those are some pretty fancy necklaces you masculine men have on there. Okay, look, everybody calm down here. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but we're actually your bosses. We created you guys. Son, I was created by something you couldn't begin to wrap your sexy little mouth around. Are you gonna put your fingers in them, Rusty? I most certainly am, Peter. Tie them up, swipe their booty, and get the husky one to me quarters. Looks like he's got a lot of fight in him. Let's go, move it along. You're gonna love playing codfish in the coal mine. These jewels kinda make us look like the king and the queen or someone. Can't believe you guys are taking our favorite necklaces. Help me, Rusty, my necklace has hornets in it. What is he doing on me ship? It's me wenches, Captain. One of them's a man. Well, Rusty told me that a wench is a person or a thing that makes your man parts tingle. Is that true, Captain Scary? No, that's not true, Peter. Hmm. A wench is anything I want it to be, Captain. If I had a little bunny rabbit tied up, it'd be me bunny wench. Makes no difference to me as long as there's a big enough warlock to handle me paddle. You two bottom feeders fuel up me ship. You're walking a thin plank right now, Diggins. It may be thin, but it's long and it's harder than mahogany. Fill her up, Petey, me boy. In the name of planetary justice, I, Captain Megapower, order you to release these helpless space creatures at once. In the name of I will not think twice about putting a load of buckshot through the back of your fucking head, I, Rusford T. Diggins, order you to play a concerto on me meat trumpet. Okay, then. Uh, Rusty, 
One of the men that electrified our necks is here asking me questions. I just got to cut in line real quick. Really? Well, I just need a thousand angels blowing a cool mist on me potato sack. But that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Peter, you have to press the lever to start the pumping. Oh, sorry, Vosky. Looks like we're going to be here a while yet, my little blue hummingbird. Come on, this is going to take a second. Back off, you delicious man cutlet, or I'll roast your little bits and snap them off with me lips. Stand down, Diggins. I'm afraid I'm done taking orders from the likes of ye, Captain. Not fucking scary in the least bit. Where a gasoline fight has broken out during an attempted mutiny on some type of a land pirate ship. I'm gonna feed ye two scurvy piss minnows to the sharks. Yeah, well, I'm gonna spray you in gas and burn ye alive. With me now are two of the band's biggest fans. What are your names, please? Uh, Rusford T. Diggins. Peter T. Squalls. How do you know Don Bruto? Well, our captain used to make us pillage stuff and sell it to Mr. Bruto, but he doesn't anymore, does he, Rusty? <laughs> no, he certainly does not, Peter. We used to be under the command of Captain Reginald. I shit in a fancy pot, Scary, but I'm proud to say that is no longer the case. I'm the new captain. We'll see who the new captain is after I blow ye both into oblivion. Peter, do you see me lucky finger in hand anywhere? No, I don't, Rusty. I'm missing a large section of my dicky bird. It's not good. 